if you're a if you're a pastor and then we eat altar call and then you see the person who offended you ama you see someone who let's say killed one of your friends ama one of your family members would you be confident enough or would you go ahead and pray for them to receive Christ and like we a pin drop silence because people are like i miss yezi le kwanza hata unaweza uita to guards wa kuja mtoe but the funny thing is to kiss to ki to ki refer to the story of the prodigal son the dad ran to meet the child while he was coming and that is how much god loves us that he will run to you at in all your filth in all your dirt Well, hello there in Bona Yesu Asifiwe. It's so great to be with you yet one more time. Karibu Harvest Conversations. My name is Brian Rashigadi. It's so good to be with you yet one more time. You know it's so good to be with you. You know it because I keep telling you all the time and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I mean it. Welcome to Harvest Conversations. So good to be with you. What we exist to do or what we pray or desire that we can achieve at the end of every one of our episodes is just to have real authentic godly conversations about the issues that surround the youthful believer um and every believer really in general and so that's why we exist uh that's what we exist to do and we hope that together we are able to do that so please continue sending us your questions if you have any um about the topics we talk about about um you know the guests we have on stage concerning things that we are talking about or something that you'd like us to cover you know an interest area that you'd like us to cover let us know we'd really love to do that right about now though I would request you to please share this link with as many people as you can let them know that we are on we are ready to go we're on the road we are rearing to go I have back on set an amazing amazing couple we have the singers also known as Mr and Mrs Joe and Frida Mwangi they are in their house okay and we've had them this is now our part two because it got so hot and so fiery so smoky tulikuwa huko na sanitizer na na manini um the thing for extinguishers thank you thank you that's our producer in the back shouting in my ear that's my extinguisher utmesiva mamoto huko to joke don't joke it's so good to be here one more time so karibuni sana thank you thank you the mwangis the singers the singers is the word the singers the singers the singers sing they sing unto the lord a joyful song a beautiful joyful song so we've been talking about these people or talking with these people and they are married they've been married um a little over under no a little under a year now uh they've they courted for about five years uh before getting to that place and that's where we are right now that's what we want to pick uh the conversation at so you guys started your relationship when you started you really do you know you're just unlearning and learning each other and learning and then learning about things and just life and you came from different backgrounds um Frida you come from the Mount Kenya region uh Mulima Wote <laughs> comes from the Mount Kenya region uh Joseph comes from Rift Valley yes the Rift Valley region um <laughs> and Now these guys have come to Nairobi then go Nairobi sasa mmepatana mapenzi ya kanisani kwanza mmepatana kwa ministry in Nairobi uh, and so all those three things have to come together so you're learning and learning and so on and so forth by this time you've already decided okay we're going to get married let's get married Let, let's do this thing how did you guys navigate that space aren't you to just bring us in on how was it for you guys to come together and Uh, even to the place of now your friends of course knew all along that you you're going out but now bringing your family in on it some of their reactions what was it like our story is a funny one or a unique one i'd say because 2020 covid happened and just before our well able president locked the the entire nation we had traveled to Naivasha to see mom and dad eh hey, anafuta kufanya hiyo kitu 
so akafunga all the boundaries za kuingia all the borders za kuingia Nairobi he tuko na Frida Naivasha yes hatujawana hivi sijampropozia mko kwa buka ya wanyama mko nyumbani tuko home mko kwa resort <laughs> and then tukaka tukaka like three weeks i umse afungui afungui kabisa you know me I, I, i need to get back to nairobi so me in my own ways nikarudi nairobi frida amerudi nairobi ni ole mleta sasa frida ako naivasha one month down the second month peke yake the third month na wazazi na wazazi come on na jalipio mahari come on fourth month sindio four months ndio huru akaamua kufanya kitu akafungua so at, atasema what she felt when she was there but personally i think it worked to our advantage because right now yeye na mama yangu wako hivi mama yangu imagine how is nipigia simu anapigia frida simu okay ama anapigia simu anambia ni miss frida like why <laughs> so like it worked to our advantage though it it had to like nikoshwali ilikuwa uncomfortable for the first like two months to be in a new environment where yeah, it's not legal yet to, for you to be there and so after that whole period uh so unon asha juana na wazai mimi on the other end uh before before now you're the covid season her mom really got sick sana and i think we were, we were, we were among the first people to be there alika kwa hosi for how long for like a month for like a month and now we used to visit her sana to a point to a point kuna siku alinipigia simu akiniuliza Frida kwa wapi ambia sijui alienda like tulicha na kitambo sana akaenda home akaniuliza hamkai pamoja like ilifika point yeye ameniamini to that to that level because i was i guess to ni we to the god like ali, ali ni accept kitambo sana mama yake so you, you see we we like i met the parents in a very like silenji yenye tumezoea like you you take you take your your spouse mmepanga mnaenda kwao kwa familia and the normal introduction so we, we we met with our parents in like sile sile channel yenye tumezoea so so the first time freedom met my mom and my dad ilikuwa kwa rush ya my brother and the first time my mom saw frida was through a, a picture i showed her of frida akasema ah koni ni msomali inyo ile frida inyo ile yake na ngo imeweza yani na ngo imeweza yani so like mom, mama alimpenda tu and so hata mimi kanipea tu like psych yo yani hata si struggle mama anaweza kuuliza maswali mingi mingi ameokoka au oh, si nini alimpenda tu from the word go and so introduction time time sale ifika tukaamua saa like we want to get married haikuwa haikuwa hard the fact that mama yangu anampenda sana mama yake ananipenda sana it was so easy for both families to accept us yeah so i, I think haikuwa okay we have a unique story yeah wow that's that's so interesting frida i wanted to talk about that period where you are at the in-laws but not the in-laws yet <laughs> what was what was that like what was that experience like in case mama and dad you watching na wapenda sana sana ilikuwa pressure it was so much pressure because kuna that side ya yeah. you want to prove yourself you know you're like the ideal girlfriend but pia kuna side ingine hauna right bad or like uh-uh, you know but uh, they made me feel so at home like hakuna point walifanya ni feel ni kama uko hapa na haufai kuwa hapa you know hakuna point walinificha like even from the friends and you know cuz wangeonekana wako na msichana kwa nyumba na hawajapeleka mahari of course it would have raised a lot of issues also them being pastors and everything but they really took me in 
I remember even during that period is when I came up with the idea of Kendall's Creative My Business Now. And my mom, Joe's mom, was the one who financed it for me to start. So I say that was like that was divine. God just made me stay there for that period. Because we bond to look at the morning jogs, you know, like to burn calories for more. It was so much. <laughs> It was so much fun. We became so close. And yeah, I think that was just God. Eventually, I came to Zoya. And Zoya, of course, the first month, especially after Joe Ali Rudi, I wrote Sasa. I was like, please, ni baby, ni kujie, ama. But I feel so comfortable. And yeah, Nili Zoya. Wow. I can't go to the father. 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 Kama ulikuwa kwa the last episode tunakumbuka Frida alikuwa NGO kwa masomo ya Joseph. <laughs> Sasa tazama NGO imetoka kule kwa maana ya minajili, kwa minajili ya biashara. I mean that's I think that's really special. Let me tell you, I really love being a believer because when you're a believer, you come into a new family. The Bible tells us that if anyone be in Christ, he's a new being. Yeah. The old is gone, the new has come. There is a new everything. There's yeah. a new name, there's a new faith, a new hope, a new family. Yani unapata na tuna mtu you could travel across halfway across the country or even across the world and you get to the other side and so long as you're in a place where people believe in Jesus Christ you're like oh welcome brother Joe welcome sister Frida it's so uh, so warm and snuggly I love it I love belonging to the family because at that time I don't think mom was doing it thinking to invest who you ni mstana atakuwa wangu because I mean that had not yet happened um, at that time Uh, I, th- I think she's doing it because she's thinking, this is my daughter. This is my child. We're in the same family. And on top of that, she's also my sister in the Lord. Um, and I think that's just a beautiful thing. If you're out there and you're not a believer, man, there's a whole family. I know, I know, I know, I know what people say about church and they're saying, oh, I'm not a believer. I'm a believer. I'm just not churchy. Oh, Demolish that lie. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Don't let anyone keep you from joining together with other believers if your heart in one place it's okay for you you can move from that one congregation but you cannot move from church man church is a family of god church is god's idea you can move from i'm about to preach and so i'm going to stop right there maybe we'll have a conversation about that but that's what's up you got to go back to church if you are hurt in church by the way you must your healing is in church yeah might be a different congregation but it's in church the body of christ because you hear what God is doing God is just setting these people up for greatness man um it's so exciting to hear that um that story and i think i just want at this moment for those of you that might be parents uh watching this i think I, i at that moment i just want to really appreciate parents who don't make it difficult for their children to go out parents who don't um making make it such a big deal they don't make it And I say this with a lot of respect. I love parents. Pray for them. Support them in every way. I work with parents a lot in the youth ministry. So I say this with a lot of humility and respect. It's, it's special to have parents who don't make it about them when their children are introducing them to their partners. You know? Of course, there's the place of a parent seeing farther than the child yeah. where they are able to look and tell you, Hey, Joseph, hako kasijana, na hiyo nyuere ya kisomari. Uh, 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 but you see when you're looking at them and they're believers I think that's the most important thing this is in Guinea things that can always be talked about we can always talk about it you know Frida would have gone home and the parents are like uh, 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 uh. but you, you know the parents are not making it about them they're not making it difficult and we want to get into that in just a bit as we continue that conversation with this uh, with this lovely people that their story is so interesting i don't know whether it's just me am i it's just but i know it's not just me i know you guys are, you guys are, comments are coming in hard and fast i know it i see it i see it all right so you guys have decided um mshaya fanya hizo mavichu zote lockdown imeinuliwa it's an unusual time in the world this covid and the pandemic and you guys have felt it even first hand um at that time you guys start thinking marriage or Yeah, you start thinking marriage and of course with marriage because you guys are believers you're thinking doing it the right way um, you want to get the blessing of your parents and so on and so forth but we still have covid is the pandemic 
uh, these lockdowns. Um, but things still have to be done the right way. Uh, so what was your process at that time? Um, what, 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 yeah, what was your, what was your process around that, around that time? The process now getting from the lockdown, Frida Merudi Nairobi has joined you from overseas <laughs> and has come back now into the, um, now leading up to the planning of the wedding. Uh, again, I say our story is a unique one. So we, we started planning the, way, the, the date. We first agreed on the date. We had thought of December. And so we approached our parents and they were like, okay, the first, the first, first period, they were like, okay, with it. And then it came to 27th March, 26th March. 26th March, 27th, we had planned the official introduction of both families now. And then, siju uhuru mbona anapenda kuingilia story yetu sana. But uhuru, so, kwa ilikuwa tuende Moranga, where, his, where the, the dad comes from. And, so tusha plan, tusha buy food. Mama metafuta wala wa mama kuimba. And yeah, we are set. Then Friday, that Friday, so it's, it was supposed to be on, on Saturday. On Friday, around 4.30, uhuru anasema, ah, uh, so effective midnight now Friday midnight. Story Yes. Wow. Effective midnight now sa, sa, like yes. Hakuna mtu anaingia Nairobi na kwa Okay the, the, il, il, a region il, Nairobi, Nairobi met, Nakuru Metropolis. Was it that thing? Yes. Uh-huh. Eh simze ilikuwa anatoka na Ivasha tunde Moranga. Sato na Moranga. At we in the Moranga. We had planned everything. Hey, so we have to, we had to, we have now to cancel. But my dad says, I see kuna technology. Situ me to zoom for introduction. Sit ni kuana sura. Saturday asubui mimi uyo mpaka nivasha. We set up a zoom meeting. Frida alikuwa Moranga. Ai yeye nani? Afungiwe tena nje. Akapana gari with the dad. They had to come back to Nairobi. So on, on Saturday, they set up also a Zoom meeting, and we meet so many Kwanivasha with my parents, Yakonerobi with the parents. And our first introduction was through Zoom. So you see your party, Kaisha. And then my, my dad says, There's no need to go to December, bring it closer. And we thought of June, August. No, the first, the first date was. July 4th. And then our friends, kuna another couple friend of ours, they tell us their wedding is on 4th, on 3rd, and they want us to, to be part of it. They go like, ay, 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 ay. So we had now to push our, our wedding to August. 21st. 21st August. And then us being ministers and being church people, our church, the DCI KZ. December you were very I see December August you were very busy because of the of the youth uh, harvest conference. So to corner, since we are part of the team, let's just push our wedding so as to be present in that in that uh, in that whole week. And that's when we push it now to fourth of September. Yeah I think that has been the journey throughout uh, the planning. That's very interesting. Frida I want you to come in on that with um, so all these things are happening. Where kwanza ulikuwa umefungiwa mara ya kwanza, alafu ni mara ya pili inakaani kama pia unafungiwa kiplani. What is going through your mind as regards to you and God and you already have a relationship. You see you are a believer, so it's you, you all things should be working together. Everything should be what I speak and the things into come I command, I decree and declare. So you're wondering why are my decrees and my declarations not why are the decrees not decreeing? the declarations not declaring why why is it what was going through your mind as regards your relationship with god at that time uh it actually built my faith even more because the first time there was lockdown something good came out of it you know so i thought sawa eh, introduction imekuwa cancelled and everything I, th- I by that time we knew we had time because we had set our minds to get married in december so 
nili feel the bias because tushanunua food tukoko nimekana kinanti zangu tushaanza kudhiga waru ku peel yanzi <laughs> tushaanza ku kuchagua nini minji kufanya nini hizo vitu zote wageni wana come and then we have to go back to Nairobi because kesho saturday ikifika na kama moranga for another i don't know how many months see but before even the night ended we had already discussed with his people from that side, the representative who was from his side alikuwa shapiga my dad akamwambia since something this was already set we can't cancel entirely let's do zoom and everything and nilikuwa like god wewe tu ndio unajua like i won't even try to battle with that idea because at the end of the day it work for our good and i think it really did because i know this sounds weird to so many people as we've not done to rush you and ilikuja to at a point where our parents were able to sit down and say these kids want want to start a life together let's allow them and then when things cool down we can always come back and do a thing where everyone is involved so at the end of the day it work for kijana hakuwa very around start ana kuanga na bahati sana yeah it it built my faith even more yeah Wow that's 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 so it's so interesting to think about how God works. Um may I hope that if you're out there and maybe you're planning a wedding in a relationship you're thinking about how these things are going maybe you're feeling a bit discouraged about maybe you're looking at your family and you're wondering how shall this thing be um just take the encouragement from the singers today that God is able to do anything. Anything he can use anything. He used a whole pandemic for them. I mean um we skipped to mention this at the beginning these people are many things together with being ministers of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ um and writing songs and you know doing all those things Frida is uh, a creator she's in the creative space she does events um it's called candles anything events anything events yes oh candles creatives ilikuwa kwanza Hey come on it's a multiple multiple streams of income eh? so anything events you can find them on Instagram Instagram yes ikona underscore mahali yes anything events underscore ke so uh-huh. yeah anything events is one word underscore ke you can find them there they do beautiful beautiful events engagements yeah. you know engagements um weddings yes. corporate dinners and so on and so forth they do those things and joseph here is many 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 things um he's an it specialist but i don't know whether he's practicing right now anymore uh he's also a teacher uh of music um and his specialty is the little ones but he also has his own school of music called jms uh joe singer music school Joe dot the singer on Instagram. Joe dot the singer you can find him on there as well um doing this great 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 things for the ministry. Okay, we're just about to begin landing this with the singers as we come back to look at more lessons and what they have learned and what they can share with us from their journey so far. Uh but before that we want to take a short break and allow the um sponsors to sponsor us uh sponsors we are welcome don't go far please um get a glass of water get some serviettes get some you know open the windows or close them whatever time it is that you're catching this and then we'll be right back in a moment We have branded merchandise for the theme of the year 2022 the great catch to order kindly send your size and the color of your preference to the number on your screen the t-shirt goes for 700 shillings and the hoodie for 2350 shillings had the breaking news <laughs> oh man it's amazing this year the harvest conference comes early in april 2022 i mean in just 2 months 
Harvest Conference is going to be with us. But wait, there's more. Actually, Ian, it is happening in just about a month's time. Why? Our conference is coming to us from the 3rd of April through to the 8th of April. I am so excited. And in this year of the Great Catch, we are bringing it back. Yes, we are going to be having boarding delegates as well as day delegates. That's right, Wai. We are looking forward to the Catch this year. And let me just tell you something. This year, we are coming all the way back. All those things that we've not had the opportunity to do in about two years, we would love to do them right this time. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be having theme exposition every morning. And then we are bringing the Harvest Conversations live and direct to you in the mid-morning sessions, talking about real issues that affect the young believer. We're also going to be having great workshops in the afternoon, talking about things that surround us in our everyday life. And in the evenings, we're going to have a wonderful time of revival in the presence of God. Our activities, our days are power packed. And I really don't know why anyone would want to miss this. See you there. I for sure will be there. I'm counting on seeing you there. continue to remind you to follow us on all our social media platforms that is youtube facebook instagram twitter spotify and podcast for daily updates and encouragement we have amazing stuff lined up for you Welcome back to Harvest Conversations. It's so good to be with you. Thank you for sticking around with us. Mate is on fire. I really have enjoyed myself in this set with the singers. Uh, we continue um, right about now. These guys now are married already. And so we just want to um, get a bit more on the journey. Yeah, you can see, you can see the rings. Onshin yotu is opete. Onyeshe. Onyesha pete. Muna ziona. Muna una pete. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, they had a beautiful wedding. I can attest to that. Beautiful, beautiful wedding. Beautiful wedding. Um, so, you guys have gotten married and you've been friends and in courtship for five years. And then you've transitioned into marriage um, with a lot of things in between, of course, highlights and challenges that we talked about previous, in the previous episode. Um, was there any change in the transition? Has there been any change to your relationship, to how you guys relate? Uh, I think we are much more of best friends and there's something that I told her when we got married that this is not a prison like as if it's like a man who is not 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 so like I told her not to as if it's not a man who is not a man I would want her to express herself freely, but definitely, there are boundaries too, but as you go could you express. So I think nothing really changed. I guess, I guess we, we have, like a friendship, we have more more tight. What changed the mindset yangu ya, like I have to eat. Let me tell you guys, when I was a bachelor, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner was kahawa na chapati yeah a nutritional value hata si tamu hata wewe kahawa ya black kama ya white black coffee black coffee just you know just let's take a poll right now real quick black coffee ingekuwa ta white jamani black coffee white ni kwa extravagant sana black coffee yo na chapati ngapi Chapatita. Chapatita too. No. Ama ine. Na black coffee. <laughs> or even more. Oh. Yes. Why? Wow, that's... Once in a while, una kuwa buji, una add my eye. Wapi kwa kahawa ama kwa chapati. Because clearly right now. <laughs> eh, so, 
mimic the first wewe tukio na vile ulikuwa unakaa hivi una thrive una glory mimi naema tu ya Mungu yes seafood Please, chakula seafood mm. aki Mungu nilikuwa na adweight apparently sana so niko na toka wapi anyway so i had to your mindset ya yeah. like the first three weeks hey bro <laughs> at 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 breakfast imetengenezwa hapo breakfast kama nilikuwa bachelor hiyo breakfast ningepewa haina cha hapo hiyo breakfast haina cha hapo i love lunch cuz like a balanced diet mimi ah uh, so yeah but it's a good thing eh you know nishazo ya nishazo ya to a point yenye nikosa kukula niko like ai kama i fasting the first first weeks hey bro really struggle it was hard unasumbua watu uko nje anyway this is me here after being married for 5 months let her close up let her close up let her close up this is yeah. me look what the lord has done <laughs> through the hands of frida look what the lord has done hallelujah yeah. frida any changes um in that transition to marriage hiyo kumpikia by the way ilikuwa struggle hiyo kumpikia ilikuwa struggle because when you were dating this guy was okay skipping lunch yani alikuwa anasema hana appetite ya lunch akulangi lunch unaona yeye kisha kunywa breakfast ni hadi jio jioni and then tumeoana appetite all of a sudden haizi ka bila lunch and then me sikwa nimezoea at every meal una get so he works from around 8 am to to noon so saa saba na kama haiku ime click kwa mind yangu saa saba kuna mtu anaku <laughs> so minasikia bell niko aya ni lunch sijapika <laughs> so ni kuingia kitchen kupika it was a huge sikwa nimezoea kupika food at pia inaweza baki the following day cuz bado sijajua ku portion sijajua so sometimes nilikuwa nako frustrated niko like si ukae tu shule hadi saa 10 tupata ni jioni <laughs> tupata ni jioni nikipika dinner but anyway nime ni, that was one of the changes i had to learn like lazima akikama anapata food ama you know those things and now a eh, space you know the space is not just yours now you are sharing space with someone else so <laughs> kuna mota ratara hivi kidogo kidogo <laughs> lazima mna conflict kidogo you know amezoea hivi he's also a clean freak so nafata sometimes yeye hata ndio anani keep in check sometimes <laughs> Sometimes ana niki pincheka ko like na me ko like we see just where but anyways those are some of the things and i think peer our communication has become better because now this is not the dating period where unaweza kasirika leo unangoja mpaka kesho uone kama utabebigaliwa ama you know e anakuja kwa nyumba like you in that house 24/7 like there's no where he's going there's no where you're going it's either you sort it or you sort it So I think we've also learned how to communicate better so that we we don't live like strangers in the house. It's how it's something that you you learn so we are still learning. I remember kuna kuna siku kuna siku nilimuuliza how end you tawala? Imagine. In my own house. In my own house. Imagine. Utawala ni kwenye alikuwa anaishi before. Wa So ni kama amechoka na mimi after two days alafu wow. niliza kwendi utawala. Huko unakumbuka ni wako sasa. Iko when hit. Wa. Wow. <laughs> It's life. Sorry. Um on that just to follow up on that. Do you feel like both of you do you feel like you are adequately prepared for marriage? Ah uh, I think you, you can never really be ready. Ukisema ati mimi nangoja ile siku sasa nitakuwa yes sasa I'm, I'm man enough inaweza kuwa mzee wa nyumba i think since marriage ni god alianzisha he's the only one who can sustain it and let's not get to a point where i'm like nasema i want to be financially stable to start a family because even when you're financially stable it is the same god who will sustain those finances it is the same god who will keep you at your workplace and give you a promotion si wewe So when you find someone who like is worth waiting for when you find someone who is worth fighting for come on like just go with it God will sustain you Jukama sisi like our wedding 
the people who we thought would help us would hold us our hands hey yo manze atakuwa huna god just alileta tu watu wake and people would do things we did not see them coming we, we, like like go to ali al surprise and ni god alifanya hiyo event yote yeah and this far he's faithful he's still faithful he'll be faithful that's what we believe mimi mwambia hata ile tema tunado itusikane kama tunado bi vitu tume tumepitia but yeah like god is faithful imagine god is faithful yeah namwambia ngata tukiwa hatuna pesa anabeba kawaipa sama kakitamba nini pale akifika anapanguza you know hakai kama ametembea <laughs> yeah but anyway we try to live one day at a time and believe that god is taking us through it he's he's the provider he's the sustainer he does everything for us we cannot even begin to explain it yeah so far we've just seen him oh amen amen to that sustainer provider when you guys were getting married um were you guys working stable jobs any of you he was i okay. wasn't okay because i had just started my business so when you appear business see at leo next month you're earning mm-hmm. hundreds and hundreds of thousands it's a process so he was the stable one na nakumbuka this point hata nilikuwa naomba si tungoje tu kwanza basi kidogo tuone kama things will you know because you also can't rely on other people's money and support because you don't know but him mimi namwambia anga anakuanga na faith ingine yenye mimi bado sijafika hapo he would just say things and do things and i'm like natembea na hiyo faith yako that is what i'm working on the yeah. fullness of god is slapping different mm. right now right <laughs> yes amen well um so you guys have gone through all that what would you if you had something to tell your younger self right now if you could speak to your younger self from what you guys have learned what would that be <laughs> you have to realize that ningejiambia nikiingia kwa marriage it's not about me anymore now you're two people you're one but you're two like whatever you, you the decisions that you make the way you react to things the way you do things you know they are going to affect that other person so you really have to think through things and be ready for that change of letting go of self and just minding that other person even more than you mind yourself because i think that was one of my also my struggles you know mimi like ni mimi So ukinikosea I'm also not thinking about you first nataka we address how I felt ama why you did this to me ama all those things so I would just tell my younger self realize that it's not about you anymore All right Um mimi kama dogo sikuta yoa so to my younger self utaoa I'm here and also one thing <laughs> one thing the the five years the dating period um, the previous people who, who i had like it was worth the, the process like the process was like it had to be there to shape me to who i am right now yeah so nothing is wasted yeah, nothing is wasted stay on the course yeah learn everything yeah be in the moment yes all right i hope that you guys are listening to Nini. this these are gems gems you know you're not the younger self but we are here we we learn we learn somebody said um a, a wise a fool learns from their own mistakes a wise man learns from other people's mistakes i don't know where you want to be on that spectrum but i want to be wise all right um just one more opportunity to speak to all of us that are catching us um from different locations um maybe there's somebody in a relationship and they are going through it Uh, they have many questions some of there's somebody who is actually married um, recently married and they're going through it and they just they just they are just going through it what would you advise uh, such a person what would you say to such a person or a couple that seems to be really going through it you know just words of life or hope because i think the notion out here about marriage is not very positive in the past couple of years we've seen a lot a lot of the enemies filthy hand over marriages of young people and i know you 
you don't need to be married 50 years to be able to speak life about marriage. You guys are in for a bit now, longer than us. And so you have something, you can speak some life. Is there any life or hope that you could speak to our viewers out there and ask guys inside here? Let me start. All right, so... Uh, yo, you need deep. But one thing, for sana sana for the people who are married and for the people who are just about to get married, I'll just want to say one thing, that God is for it. And those who are in marriage right now, God is in it. So if we choose to trust him, kidogo to hivi, ile kitu unawani kama it doesn't work, I would trust God. I'm here to God. You know what, God, by my, my strength, I cannot do it. And by my own experience, I cannot do it. You take the wheel and just lead me to where you want me to be. For the people who want to date or are dating, uh, I would first ask you this question, like, why are you in it? Why do you want to, to date that lady? Why do you want to, to date that guy? Because I think sometimes we lose it from the word go. Unaingia a dating season with someone who has... Kuna true to be, tunajua kuna zile vitu najua, like they are wrong, but you still go for it. To see Danganyane, my, my dad usually says, Ocha dhambi ito dhambi. It's nothing else. If sin is sin, don't paint it with the word like issue. Vile, kuna, kuna pasta, pasta milu penda kusema, like issues. It's not an issue, it's sin. So if someone is in that sphere of, uh, I'm still in the world, but unasema, I'll change him. I'm, I'll change her. You, like it's not by your strength. My, my wife, uh, like three days ago, told me that the percentage of change between the dating season and the, and the marriage season, it's like two percent. Like vile yako natakuwa. So she expect at the, let's say your, your guy drinks, ama your guy is into drugs, or is into violence, and then you expect that since like uko uko tu apoto kama ka slave, and then you get to a point where you say yes to to him or her. And then you expect that yes will change them. It won't change them. So from the word go, do the right thing. From the word go. God akwapoko guide. Surround yourself with people who know God. Surround yourself with people who have been in it, through it, or who all at one kufikiria mema. Kunja kuna watu wata wata ku discourage from someone because they want that someone. Let's just be real. And let's surround ourselves with people who <laughs> who think the best for us, yeah, and who would want to see us be better, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think to echo on what he has said is, surround yourself with people who believe also that marriage works, you know. When we were, do, when we were planning our wedding, we used to tell each other, tutakana watu wenye wanatuambia, this thing works. Si wale wanakuja wanakuliza, juu kushua ni demoju unataka for the rest of your life, kushua ni huyu. You see, people who want to fill your mind with doubts or who want to question the decision that you're about to make. So the same case applies to marriage. When you're in it, you want to surround yourself with people who are advocating for it, Kabisa. Like, and they're very objective. Even when there's an issue, they don't like rely on one side. Like they don't unajua how a side na side moja. People who will walk with you, who will tell you, apa, Joe. This is not how to treat a wife. This is not, you know, Frida, this is not how to treat your husband. People who are positive about marriage. See when you are ujwe how can you marriage ku fanywa subika manini? Ukiona nini toka? Enda. See. And also to tell you that marriage will not sort your issues, just as he has said. If there is any underlying issue, sort it before you get married. Usi jambie, tukiowana, ita change. S little changes, you find that now marriage magnifies because now you can see that person like Apple, Unona. And you can never change someone like ni God too. It's only God who can change that person for you. So pray a lot. I think the enemy does not really like the idea of marriage. So Unapatanga, even after you have proposed to that girl, so many issues come up you find the devil wants to fight it from all fronts. 
put God first, like pray as hard as you can because if God uh, started the institution of marriage, he will surely sustain it. So it's it's beautiful as we are enjoying every minute of it. So marriage works. Marriage is it it lasts as long as you know who is the center of it all and who will sustain you and you cannot do it on your own. You might but you will struggle. You will struggle. But with God, he just makes everything beautiful and it's worth every challenge that comes. Yeah. Wow, man. Yo. This is the right place to make an altar call for those of you guys that are going through it. But I really hope that you're receiving the message of hope that's coming across. Marriage is God's idea. Uh, relationships are God's idea. It is God that puts people, even friendship, uh, is God's idea. Family is God's idea. The church is also relationships. That's God I- God's idea. It was God that decided... Um, I am above man, I'm going to give him instructions and I'm going to give man dominion over all the things that have been created, but I'm going to cause somebody to stand next to them. We've been designed for dependency. Anything that causes you or calls you to be independent, you just want to keep to yourself, whether it's in a friendship, in church, in marriage, wherever it is, that is not of God. I think these guys could not have said it clearer and I want to say thank you so much to you guys um, for coming. Oh, it's been shouted. Um, You know, (laughs) <laughs> I should say, it's been shouted in my ear by my producer to ask our question. That's the harvest, harvest Conversations question. If you guys would describe your relationship using a meal, what would that meal be? So we'll take one from everyone. Oh, Emma, you, you have one meal for all of you. Let's hear from uh, I would say for those who have tried it, like anything honey glazed or whatever. Ikona kapilipili na ikona utamu. So, the pilipili is not bad. I could stop from eating because you're still enjoying the sweetness, you see. So, our marriage is like that. The, the small, small things that we go through, the hardships or whatever, they are just a, a tiny bit of the bigger, you see. We enjoy the honey more. We enjoy the sweetness more. Yeah, and also I think I would use cheese. See the cheese stretches. It may to stretch. You'll find that in terms of maybe compromising, you've compromised more, you sacrifice more, it may to pull sana. You find that things we used to do as individuals, now you have to maybe do put an extra effort now that you're married. Yeah, that's so a cheesy honey glazed milk. Huh. I'm so hungry right <laughs> now. Okay. Um is that the same food you'd use? We are going to content more. We are going to weird. Okay, see weird. We are going to local. Chapo. Okay. Chapo kahawa, but... In every black... Come on. We are going to mashed potatoes. And... Why do you think you have mashed potatoes? Why do you have mashed potatoes? Why do you have mashed potatoes? Like, let's go peel potatoes, a la fuzi oche, a la fu weke komaji kwans, weke du chumvi in the yone kanga. Who add is left to add, and then you have to to mash it pole pole. So it's a whole process. Kuna yo place ya kupil, eh, new chungu, mita kuma, kosa ego, yama naume, ego. Anyway, yeah, so I would describe our marriage as that. Personally, I've, ha- I've, I've, I've had to peel so many things that don't need to be in that final product. Because every day we are peeling different things. Yeah. Wow. The singers, in summary, are a cheesy honey glazed meal oh, on a bed of mashed potatoes. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Come on. That sounds like a yummy meal, man. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. But thank you so much, Joe and Frida Mwangi. We are so glad that you guys said yes and came and just poured yourselves out and spoke life to... Um, all of us that are catching. This is for a youthful audience, but we know we had a couple more parents and so on and so forth joining us today. And thank you for, for um, just coming and being vulnerable on set. Pastor Alice Kimani likes to say that you don't need to put any effort to find the good things in life, but you need to be 
to find the bad things, sorry. You don't need to put any effort to find the bad things in life. But you have to put attention to detail and be a bit more intentional to find the good in life. The fact that you guys are coming and you're not lying to us, telling us, oh, it's all a bed of roses, it's all roses, rose petals without the thorns. No, you're telling us there are challenges, there are things, there are things that go inside there, but also there is the blossoming, beautiful, nice smelling, um, or nicely scented uh, flower and the petals. I think that's really beautiful. Thank you for opening our eyes to see that God will use different means in yeah. different ways, um, but he's faithful at the end of the day and that these relationships are God's idea. Thank you so much. May God continue to replenish you. We look forward to having you back um, to answer questions, to talk a bit more about marriage and, you know, the places where the Lord is taking you because we know that y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Want to speak that prophetically from the Harvest Conversations to you guys in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. If you guys have been blessed by Joe and Frida, please reach out to them, anything events underscore K-E or Joe dot singer. The singer. Joe the singer. Joe dot the singer on Instagram as well. Reach out to them or you could reach out to us on those numbers on your screen right about now and let us know how we may be able to help you. If you have questions, please, we would love to be able to answer them. Let us know if you want to us to have them back because we are excited to look forward to that opportunity of having them back. The Lord bless you and do you good. We love you. We Thank pray you. for you. God do you good Could in you Jesus. Yeah, come yes, touch. Kuna yes, ina ina ya mpesa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Una ingia tu uko kwenye nini useme? Mimi nataka kuabariki nipateni your bank details. <laughs> nipateni us. Us. Us here at the Harvest Conversations. We are generous givers. Generous in every situation. We want to excel in this grace of giving. Amen. Amen. Come on here. Come on. So yeah, feel free to do that uh, in the name of the Lord. God, our bless, man. It's so good to be here with you one more time. Look forward to great things that are lined up for us in the coming more episodes. But until then...